we welcome you all to our maths class of standard 2nd today's topic is let's untie a 10 in order to subtract dear children you know how to do addition you know different ways of addition right counting forward etc but today we are going to learn subtraction means reducing Okay, dear children, here the method is let's untie a 10 in order to subtract. Yes, dear children, we will try to understand the meaning of untie. Here you can see a bundle of sticks. They are tied with the string. Can you see here? Yes, it has 10 sticks. How many? 10. And 10 sticks are bundled together with a string. Okay, they are tied together with a string. Yes, this is called untying. When we take out the string, tied string, that is called untied. Means we are separated. Okay, yes, like this only we will untie a 10 in order to subtract. Yes, here 10 means this is 110, you know. Whenever we tie 10 articles or 10 units together, it becomes 110. Right? Okay. Here what we did, we untied 110. Right? Okay. For more details, we will move to our topic. Here you can see 3 boxes filled with the pencils. Each box has 10 pencils. Okay. We will try to distribute them among the children. Okay. In the first case, here this boy, he needs how many pencils? 20 pencils. I want 20 pencils from these three boxes. Yes, dear children. Help me to give this boy 20 pencils. Yes. How we can do this? Okay. Before that we will number the boxes. This is number 1 box. This is 2. This is 3rd box. Okay. Now this boy need 20 pencils. And we know that each box has 10 pencils. Correct? 10 pencils make 110. Isn't it? So... Yes, right. We can give two boxes. These are 10 and these are 10. So, 10 plus 10, that is 20. Yes, he got 20 pencils. Right? Our mission is over. Now, here again these three boxes are there. Our second child, here this girl, she needs 10 pencils from these boxes yes you know that each box has 10 pencils so this is very easy if we give her one box means we gave her 10 pencils right she is happy now ok in the third case see this boy he needs 12 pencils yes how to give this boy 12 pencils from these 3 boxes? Okay. 12 means you know that 10 plus 2. Right? And each box has 10 pencils. So, one box we can give. Right? These are 10 pencils. And 2 more pencils he need. What to do now? Yes. Yeah. One method is there. What we will do? We will take this second box aside. See here. Okay. Now we will take out all these 10 pencils. Or we will untie. See this. We can say untie. Or we can take out these 10 pencils from the box. And from these 10 pencils we can give him Two pencils. See, this is one, this is second. Like this, we can do, isn't it? 
got this children once again we will move to our topic here this boy needs 12 pencils so one box we are giving and from the second box we are going to give him only two pencils right means all together he got 12 pencils correct here there are 10 in one box and plus 2 that is 12 pencils what we did here we untied the second bundle okay got this one more example we will go through see this fourth boy he needs 25 pencils from these three boxes again you know that 25 means 20 plus 5 yes very nice we can give him these two boxes first okay that is nothing but 20 pencils then yeah very good from this third box we have to give him five pencils okay we will take this third box aside okay this is our third box we will untie or we will take out all the 10 pencils from the box now we have to count five pencils this is one second third fourth and fifth right we have taken out five pencils these five pencil we combine with the two boxes that make 25 pencils isn't it okay now return to our sum see here two boxes that is 20 pencils plus five pencils from this third box we untied this third box we have taken out five pencils from this third box isn't it okay so this boy got 25 pencils isn't it got the children this is nothing but untying and doing the subtraction see one more example here let us study this first now dear children this is 34 means it has 3 tens and 4 units you know this right 30 and 4 is nothing but 34 that is 3 tens and 4 units correct okay now here this is 1 ten second ten third ten mean 3 tens correct and four units means four single sticks okay now here if we have to give eight units to other child how to give eight units means eight single single sticks from 34 sticks yes what we will do we know that we have to untie one of the 10 because we have only four units right separate separate sticks so if we untie one of the bundle from these three tens then we can easily give eight units see here this bundle we will untie we will take this here and we will untie this bundle now dear children see here we here we got Two tens, correct. One ten and two ten, and how many units? These four and these ten together make fourteen units. Here one ten we untied, so we got ten more units along with the four units. So all together we have fourteen units. Yes, fourteen single single sticks. Now it is very easy to give. Eight sticks from these fourteen sticks. Okay, let us give him. This is one, two. Count along with me. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have given here eight units. Got this, children? 
how it became possible because we untied one ten one bundle so it became very easy give that child a eight units isn't it okay now what remained here yes one ten two tens right so let us write here two tens remain and how many units yes count these 1 2 3 4 5 6 six units remained means all, all together two tens and six units remain when we take out eight units from 34 that is nothing but three tens and four units got this children yes okay here one more 26 means you know that two tens and six units okay we can see one ten two tens correct and six units we need see these are six units okay now if in case we have to give nine units to one of our friend then what we have to do yes very nice now already we have 6 units and 6 is smaller than 9 so we must have to untie 110 right okay we will do that see i am untying this 10 okay 110 one here you can see we are separating the 10 units from 110 right okay now how many tens here only one ten remained right and how many units we got 10 plus 6 these are 10 or these are 6 so all together we got 16 units why we untied this because we want to give nine units to our friend right okay now from 16 we can give nine easily okay now here this is 1 2 3 okay this is 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 got this children here we gave nine units correct now what remained here one ten this remained and here seven units remain isn't it 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 got this one ten and seven units remained so here when we subtract nine from 26 we get 17 got this children which method we followed we followed untying and subtracting method yes i hope you understood the matter right here subtraction by untying or borrowing or opening out a 10 See dear children, one sum is there. Forty-four minus eight is equal to how much? Okay, forty-four means here four tens, four units. Minus eight units. Yes, eight is larger than this four. Right? Here four units, here eight units. So what to do? Yeah, very good. We have to untie. One ten. See, dear children, we will write here units and tens. Okay, we will untie one ten here. See, this is forty four. We, you know that four units are there. Okay, and four tens are there. But we need eight to minus from this four. It is not possible. So we are going to untie one of the ten from these four tens. so when we untie we get 
14 units and how many tens? Yes, 3 tens. Very nice. 3 tens because 1 ten we untied and we converted that into the units. So we got 14 units here. Now minus 8. Correct? Now it is easy to subtract. This is minus. That is the symbol for subtraction. Okay. Now 14 minus 8. How much? You can count forward from 8 till 14. You can use your fingers. Yes. How much? Come on tell me. Yes, very nice. 6. Correct? Now, what remained here? 3. Nothing is there. Means 0. 3 minus 0. That is equal to 3. What is the answer? 36. Means 44 minus 8 is equal to 36. Got this? One more example. 32 minus yes 7 is equal to how much same thing here here 2 in the units place and 3 in the tens place and 2 is smaller than 7 so what we have to do we have to untie from 3 tens we have to untie one of the tens from these three tens. Correct? So let us write units and tens. Here this 32. Now by this we get 12 units because we have untied one ten. Right? And how many tens remain here? Two. Correct? Very nice. Minus what? Seven. Okay. Now 12 minus 7 is equal to how much? Again you can count forward from 7 till 12. 7, okay leave this. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Means 5 fingers that is 5. Okay, here 2 remains as it is. So our answer is 25. Am I right? So 32 minus 7 is equal to 25. Yes. Now, here one sum. 67 minus 9 is equal to how much? This is our last sum. Okay. Now, here also 7 and 9 are in the unit place. And 7 is smaller than 9. So, here it is compulsory to untie one of the tens from the six tens. Right? So, let us write units, tens and from 67 we get 17 units and five tens. Remember, you have to reduce these tens by one number because we are untying one ten. Isn't it? Okay. Minus nine. So, 17 minus 9 is equal to how much? Yes. Very nice. 8. Here it is 5 minus 0 that is 5. So, our answer is 58. So, 67 minus 9 is equal to 58. Correct? Very good. Dear children, here this is from your textbook. Untie or borrow. Or open out a 10 and subtract. Here 23 minus 5 is equal to how much? In the units place that is 13. Tens 1 it is given. Here very nice. Minus 5. Let us write here 5. Now 13 minus 5 how much? That we have to write here. That is good 8. So our answer is 23 minus 5 is equal to 18. Right? We will move to second one. 25 minus 8 is equal to how much? In the units place, what to write here? 25 
means we got here 15 units and 1 tenths. Right? Okay, minus 8 it is given. 15 minus 8 is equal to how much? Leave 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 means 7 fingers means 7 units. Here 1 as it is. So our answer that is 25 minus 8 is equal to 17. Correct? Last one. 37 minus 9 is equal to how much? Here 10 cent units. How many units? Very nice. 17 units and 2 tenths. Right? Minus 9. 17 minus 9 is equal to yes. How much? Yeah. 8. Very good. Now here 2. Right? So... 37 minus 9 is equal to how much? 28. Got this? Very nice. Now dear children, I hope you understood these types of sums that is untying tens and doing subtraction. Isn't it? Okay, here are some sums for homework. See dear children, same procedure you have to follow to solve all these examples. Okay, first, first untying and then converting them into the units and then you have to do the subtraction then you will get the answer. Remember to reduce 110 while writing. Okay, because we are untying that one, isn't it? And we are making them into the units, right? Okay, thank you dear children. Children, there are so many sums in your textbook. Please try to solve them. Bye-bye.